Greetings, everyone. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, world. This is the Rastafari International Ambassador, Rasta First Generation Baby. International Vanguard. Yes, I have to tell you all the titles them that have been bestowed through my life. Now, when it comes to the Vanguard side of thing, everyone now kind of dumb because it's the first time a commander come out and actually taking responsibility for his action and high jabony is doing just that now the topic that we're gonna reason on today is the ethiopian orthodox church crisis 42 Bible preacher was killed at Sashamali St. Michael Church today. So that's one thing we will ever talk about. But you know, Jabi, the church thing, not really, and none of my business. So I am going to talk about it from the angle that Rasta have been going to Shashamali for the past close to 60 years. And the Rastas, them that have been going into Shashamali is Bible preachers, Bible quarters, and I think I'm making it clear. I think two or three vanguard of mix in that Tashamali thing. I'm not going to identify my bridge in them, but those of you who know the history of Tashamali know, know that at one stage there was a coop in the Rasta camp at Tashamali and we have a discipline some people yeah and, and since then people have been nervous of certain rastaman in Sashamali but that's all it, that's all it is them nerves get jerk because out here that man is very very protected because make no doubt of it you know Rastafari is a real thing and Rastafari, all of I and I is protected species. So don't think that Tiger Bunny is here talking because I just free for talk. No. I'm I'm talking because it's the time to talk. Yeah. Because from the inception of Rasta, we always did a vanguard to keep things in check. And we have seen Bible preacher of of overtaking and overriding this movement. Car we all keep it like it is you know. It was a movement of Jap people. And because it was a movement of Jap people, it moved and it was real. It moved in a form that we create everything the whole thing the whole rastafari it was a whole movement the singers and the musician and the players of instrument it was one package so when in the dark days when we take off against certain founding father will 
And we now go on the corner. Bongo Wato and Emmanuel and them man there. They were seen a state man back then. Very unto the system. Very disciplined these elders. And these elders was against the music part of it. The history will show. But it was the music part of it that enabled the vanguard to move. So, for example, people give Bob Marley a whole heap of credit for jumping around on the stage and singing and dancing. But this is Black History Month. So now we need to put some the record straight and our history. Now I am here to tell you about our history. So a man that don't get no credit for his input because Dennis Emmanuel Brown is known as the Crown Prince of Reggae. But in Rastafari, Dennis Putin, Dennis, Gregory Isaac, Sugar Minot, Dennis, Dennis Brown, Sugar Minot, Juna Delgado, Gregory Isaac, have done more serious work than Bob Marley. It's just that John Public was not aware of, of how the movement moved. Even Errol Dunkley put in more work than Bob Marley when it comes to the movement of Rastafari. Just bear with me now, you know, coming on and you know, jumping on the feelings already. I talk about how I how we bad ass. I talk about how, 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 how them man they works. Yes, them man they works was invisible to the public. But hi, you were next man where put in some serious work for, for Rastafari and people don't really know that because when you talk about strike a lee you don't talk about strike a lee negatively and when him robbed from the business but you don't talk about what he put in the business so these are the things that black history might now hijab on you want to talk about because here it is now Dennis Brown at one stage is a man where move 40 vanguard yeah the man they bring in 40 vanguard here right here in the uk yeah there is man around here today that is dennis brown gregory isaac is the man that bring in the most vanguard that's why he was untouchable gregory isaac is known as Hitler. Hitler is who the move the most vanguard. No, I tell the business. As, sim as simple as you check it, Sister Marcia Griffith, real Stalawa, and next sister will move some vanguard too. Because when the thing said this thing, the movement of the people was just a singing alone and a dancing alone it was a real movement real the artists them that i named just now they were the one that moving with the music and the vanguard and taking the world and we take the world with them and the anywhere them land why you think you never hear nobody at this no white man at this certain artist and this certain artist car we a next man where we where we try to don't even give him credit and give him flowers Tuko, the man tapazuki 
the man they him PLA, the man they move on God. Yeah. When I turn the tap a response for 13 of the Rima man them. When him got stick up the boy. Yeah, because these are really strainers. That's so I tell you. Toko when when name Virgin when one virgin um when name God, we don't remember them, them people and name. When name the, the one who won Verlet Virgin, him did sign Tapa one, Tapa for God do tour of South Africa and a party it with the police band. And when Tapa refused, say, him now work with no Babylon on that level. Richard Branson. It's 13 at the Rima 13 step, step to Virgin. In Manhattan, you know. And go and shelf the contract there, you know. Is that it's gone pint to take back with the contract by you know. So now if you know say this thing was a real movement. So when you hear I attack and you know, question how Jabi attack. Me not tell no lie, me I tell you things them were happening in our history that was untold. Yeah. Rastafari was a real my generation. Rasta, which is first generation Rasta, we took it to Babylon on a different level. We never dream about this. We never talk about no Bible. We never walk with no Bible and talk about holy high and all kind of high. When you see we, you say we gone. Mm-hmm. When we walk in a certain boy office, all we have to do is lift up a shirt tail and make them say they're there. And the talk gets straight. We not we not we young people not have lean talk. Any lean talk you talk to the steel. Yeah. Me sure already go back go look upon the blueprint which was rockers. And see how we deal with rockers downtown. Any guy how we be, how we deal with society guy and big guy. No big guy couldn't come push we around. Anyway, I want to say maximum respect to to a classmate, which is Carlton Roots and Jadine, and his son Paul Dean. I want to show maximum respect to them brethren because them three brethren there every so often will line me up and make me know say Jabi balance. So don't think say me is a man with half balance. Again, I want peer respect to Rasoji, Bongo Skibo, King Tani, King Fioramasis, Liquid Dread, Aya Congo. And a whole heap of my other brethren where is vanguards that still standing. I want to pay respect to some of my passing brethren. Brethren like Big and Little Nizzy, Lenky Roy, Chubby Dread. I have three personal brethren, Smokey, Rocky and Cracky. Want to pay respect to those brethren who fall in the back of field. I have a lot of doctor brethren too. Doc from Rockfort, original Doc. Yeah, and his family. Dr. Pee Wee, Dr. Hyans, Dr. Almantado, Dr. Kirkpatrick. As some real, real, real vanguard me are telling about it now. You have to in the inner circle for know all them man they when them man they are carry locks. Yeah, cause after we, after a while we have to cut with locks because we have when we when we take it to the international arena, we had to become invisible while the visible I move through the invisible is who I make things happen. 
Now, I have said a lot in my introduction. My introduction is not a normal introduction. My introduction sometimes makes some people wonder, why are you Jabi a way matter about? Well, today I'm going to put the spotlight now on I am first generation. So on the year from the ass's mouth, how it is set. So I'm gonna put the spotlight now on the second and third generation. So they can come and tell now the world and in das what I have been saying because if you notice the ear wave kind of silent now when it comes to Rasta business now me no hear no scala attack up now me no hear no scala come counter rap me no hear no me no hear no scala I want to recommend me a talk say um but us mental but him no have no degree so when I pay him no mind but we are talking about the man them hopper the university the scholars them we're supposed to know we business. Me not hear them attack. So let me make some other Rasta baby talk now. So me have a soldier line up now and we're gonna pray that the order because I have done this program earlier today and the order was very distorted. So I'm trying to do it a different way now. So bear with me. I put up the program today and I took it down because my conscience couldn't allow me to do that to your ears. You know, Jabi no really do thing half as if him can't help it. And let me show you. A lonely soldier work him thing from him from a mixing lab. This is my mixing lab. You know? And Babylon never teach me none of these things. It's me teach myself. Anyway, me, me gonna hear where a soldier have to say, who is a second generation vanguard. Cliffy, bless up the eyes, self Rasta man. You know, give thanks. Asian Council, bless up each and every Rasta far and this um, platform. One love, you know, Rasta soldier from Jamrock, you know. Yeah, man, I am on a list of the reason, you know. My man say, Bible reader, salvation, Bible reader, look, you know, Cliffy. I'm on your side, look, black liberation. Rastafari I start a jam rock as a black liberation movement, you know. But it's up to his majesty crown in Africa and Ethiopia. Rasta man in a Jamaica because of the tribulation, use the Bible. Fill it, um, clarify themselves why them says majesty is the almighty and not no Jesus Christ as we see what take place in a Jamaica, you know. The Bible was the only means. I was the only tool the Rasta man in Jamaica have when it just started. It's after that books start coming and government, both um, you call it a colonial government and what they say an independent government ban all black book. When I tell the Prime Minister when he share and ban one book when he black beauty, black beauty, the story is just about a house. All that the book they get banned, get banned when I'm not with black people but one black house. The government of Jamaica ban all that the book there. You see, but he never banned the Bible because he used to enslave black people. That's in Jamaica especially. That's why Jamaica, this is the Karaki, it have the most church per square mile on the whole entire earth, planet earth, yeah, you know? Yeah. I and I say black liberation fire, Rasta. Black liberation. Rasta have no something against reproof to no one but his majesty divinity, you know? I and I go over the obstacle a long, long, long I were Rasta. Black liberation, we are say. Oh, yeah. You hear what my brethren say? I and I know have nothing to prove to anyone in the world. So all who no just come rest and want to go jump off of some cliff within a Bible preaching. You hear what the brethren say? The brethren say, I and I, they don't prove them things they in the dark days. Yeah. So right now, we not depend on proving thing today. Today is what we can do to make changes at this or we there. 
So all who want to talk about Bible, I some new talk no put in a work. We not a time for come discuss Bible with no one. So when we say we burn the Bible, if you want to take it literally and make it becomes a problem to you, chuck off. Come in again, soldier. Uh, get white people out of Africa. You have place in Africa where no black man can go. Have white people, Chinese people, and Indian people can own them places. Oh, we all get rid of them. Get, get rid of them. A gunfire, a gun, we are say. One army, one army to fight them because it's not nothing but no faith. Not no spiritual. Not no this man. A flesh and blood that you fight this uh, Amagidian warrior, Rasta. Because I'm that white people know. And I talk about, when I talk about reparation and. Um, Repatriation which I and I endorse to the fullest. But a fight I and I have to go fight that. No expect say white people have a bow to no black people when they have I and I captivity. Until this day, no slave master no bow to no slave. White people say I and I as then slave and somehow we take myself to slave to white people through Bible and real religion, Islam are the same thing as huh? black people turn themselves in a slave slave through Christianity and um Arabic teachings, Rasta, you know, but I am a free, free, I man say free man, a free man trad this year, Rasta for a right trad, no, no something for doing, no religion, no book, a something will come out of here and I, that's why enough Rasta man, I want to say my Rasta, read and read and read and read and them over, them are still traitors, my destiny, be still the priest warriors and traitors, I am one of the warrior Rasta, Rasta, you know, priest, you know, give thanks to the priest, bless up our Rasta for a right priest, you know, yeah, you have the warrior, you have the priest, and you have the traitor. Them words that come out of his majesty's mouth. You come at Jamaica, you saw, 1966, you know. Yeah, so I and I know that, you know. Well, I have one of the warriors where I said, put down Bible, and make it build an army, if it kick out white people, because I don't see no other way I and I get black liberation around us of Congo. Give thanks. Yeah, the Rasta man. Since La Colonge, where the I say world leader. I may be very leader for the eye as how the eye look on him. But you see, I and I in Jamaica as Rasta. I and I have a different view of Sizzler. Sizzler one of the main sell out to Bob the Green. You see? Sell out Rasta. They have to know the Sizzler labor right where I work with the Jamaican government. You can't stay in a year corner of the world and big up Sizzler. I give him thanks to some of them. What was Sizzler Sizzler do? Sizzler do like him own Rasta. So if he want to own you, so let it be. You see, this is the only Rasta man in Jamaica. So you can big him up and bless him up as much as you like. And don't compare with Bob Marley either. Because reggae music, I say a reggae music Rasta, you know. I big up reggae music and love reggae music, you know. But I know foreign and foreign and this. I come from Jamaica and I know all of the sell out, them all, all the traits of them, you know. Yeah. And I listen to the eye, them reason and find out so. They are them a salvation Rasta. Rasta never start as no salvation and no salvation army this Rasta. <laughs> you see, this a black liberation movement. Uh. Take black people out of captivity and free Africa. Set captive free. And run with traitor. And run with oppressor. <laughs> you see, look how the eye them say and the eye them do. The eye them can't change Rasta man around here. So who oh, I come from the foundation know what Rasta is. Rasta black liberation. You see? I and I are not really are not church rat. And when I say Rasta and I want to church, I go, I go, I join one black liberation movement. You see? I read Bible what if it just was no one night make I read it. I know follower no Bible follower. I follow these words of his imperial majesty when say Africa. Africa free, no care how long it takes. Good Africa overcome evil. They can't go and read the eye Bible and expect miracle to happen, you know. And peace say black people. I'm go sorry if you not let you know go. No, well, the guy can always do that. You see, I depend on the back of feel I no stop fight Rasta. Like I man say, I want to worry a Rasta. You know, see, I no come around as if you have no mercy upon no oppressor and read Bible and talk about no one love and them thing. Them. Mm, I don't want to die. I don't want to one love Rasta. When time come for one love, one love will come. You see, but I don't know time to know one love. A black liberation, we are say. And we don't see, see no white man or no Chinese or no Indian. In our house, a rape and kill and murder and cut out about no one love. We go, go on side with no one love. Black liberation, we are saying. When time comes for one love, I and I be glad to embrace all races. But we know all races I see a vampire from Africa, vampire from Rasta. You can't love your enemy. If you want to love your enemy, you love him. I don't love him. When him say peace and love and justice, all the hell your enemy, if you have your dumb and hurt, who are you dumb? Come in your house. 
rape off your pic, rape off human and kill your picnic. Fling you down on the earth and have your neck in your, 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 your foot. Have him put in your neck. Have you down on the earth. Have pressure and have squeeze your life out of you. And you have to talk about one love. Eh? You have a, when him when take his neck out of you and peel back from your rub and to compensate you for your wrong you do. Then we say one love. But how you have to talk about one love when you have been oppressed the same way? On a fool. Free man, we say, and when he get when I and I have a free man, one love, but we still have him over there, and he turn around and can around there, so trade with him and deal with him. Why oh, well, well, if he deal with him and come talk about love, one love? No, brethren, you don't go around so we don't know one love business, you see? And a liberation, we are saying, we now go say no one love to no enemy. We are done press eye. When he stop done press eye and give a man one, then we say one love, give thanks. Aye, aye, aye. I can't hold the one love me tell in a long time so if you take on yourself with one love now what is good about this virgin soldier that is stalking I have left Jamaica since 1976 and I and I dip on the road all over with this nation treading now here is a second generation. Soji is a second generation. And listen how him sound. To me, the only difference with Soji and High is that Soji depends on the ground, ground and Soji know more of what's happening today on the ground than I. Yeah, because I'm still in a Italy with So, this is for all of you globally especially with african brothers and sisters that keep a tell me and i try to tell me how it for go when you care i'm free on yourself i own for free on yourself because a free i and i free you know only never understand free how we free a free we free where we cannot do what we are doing say we are what we are saying no no one can stop we from say what we are saying. No. I bet you no, you no say I even try to come close. So don't come tell I and I from the original school of blackness. Oh, and when we for say black and who we for love. Take for yourself. Come again, my brethren soldier. Hi, Rastafari. You know I'm on one now. I notice every time, amongst Rasta, amongst ordinary black people. Every time black people stick out for them rights. Especially Rasta. And say black, 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 black. The same black people say I and I prejudice. Hmm. The same black people say I and I prejudice. Every time black people open their mouth to talk. For them rights. The word prejudice have to come out of other black people mouth. Why? I man say China, Jamaica, you know. Toes are China and Jamaica, and the only time I see them is in them business place. And I know you don't want to call them prejudice. The only time you say I must pan street, or in a them business place, and time you see them in a them business place, and money they must collect from black people. And when them business place, like you know, see them. They don't go church, they don't go dance, they don't go party, they don't go big, they don't go know where black people congregate. And I know you don't want to call them prejudice, you no. Know. But every time black people say black, 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 inside out, black, black people use the word prejudice. Why? Elder, give a thanks. They are getting a man like they are in Nova Stana, you know, fire. A man no burn Bible in the Congo. Come and tell us a man want to know why night. So I no burn it. Enough youth, young youth, young Rasta come to you, come to I and I and say, they want a good book for read. Because when I'm on I'm the young I do a whole heap of reading, you know. Whole heap Africans, strictly have black read, black books. You see me? And when they ask you, they ask you, the Bible I recommend to them, you know. I'm going to tell you something. If you have a family of Pentecostal Christian, I can see 16 I and I have siblings. You know, my mother have some youth who don't belong to my father. My father have some youth who don't belong to my mother. And between the two of them also have some youth. 16 I have speak me. I am the only one 
who is a Rasta, all of them are Pentecostal Christian. When I reason with my family, I can't tell them about African or no yellow Celestin or no blackness. No. That's just strictly the Bible I have to use in a fire. As a Bible reader, you know. I don't burn Bible. Everywhere I have a Bible, hold for different, different copies of Bible and verse and a Bible. You see, I know Trump a Bible, so don't get it wrong. You see, but at the same time, I is not a Bible believer. There are good things in it, you know, a lot of good things. We are man endorsed to the fullest, you know. I love reading them too. You see. But you see, when I look and see what Bible is to I family. Cause I don't know somebody to I family, you know. I don't dead gone ahead a long time you no know, condemn, you know. And I see I family right now in the time in Jamaica, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna say the time in Jamaica now are one minute to eleven. See? And I family will tell you, say, them not the tw um, 12 30, you know, 1 o'clock, now 2 o'clock, now 3 o'clock, or tonight, no more sketch them, you know, then rapture and gone in the sky, gone to heaven. You know, see? And most Jamaica have the, have the belief, the lion. And I know, say, them think they are Bible teaching, you know? I have to use the same Bible to reverse them type of teaching. I don't care how I do, I can't do that for you. I see you, you know, I family. Come up and say Rastafari, but I know I bring them. I just see them knock you up there and I come say what I and I say. You know? And I find say some Rasta something where in here, we have to come out of you. No care if some man locks up and talk, even someone who come out of Rastafari family. I see no few born and come see mother and father of Rasta and Trim go turn for do all type of sitting in a Rasta. Ask any Rasta that you being in a Rasta Jamaica, yeah. And then we tell you, yeah, what it what we all like Rasta man think it in there. You know, see it, and I saw it set lion. You know, so don't get it wrong, Master say I burn Bible. I don't burn Bible fire, I just explain myself. You see, but I look upon Bible from a different per perspective from most Rasta man, you know. I don't live it, you know. I read it, but I don't live it. I live the Rasta man way, the Rasta man way as I come. See, I said, no Rasta man in Jamaica, we know no something to do with Bible. And if they don't tell you that, you can't tell the difference of them different from the Bible reader Rasta. I just Rasta, you know, see it. Because Rasta is a different Rasta and a Christianity or something where you adapt to. You see? And somewhere you adapt to, you know. And somewhere you have in you for a long, 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 long time till one can't stay no longer, you just bust out of you. And you say Rasta. You know, see? And you, you don't, you cast away all the Babylon officials and just say, the Black Liberation, you know, tired of this thing where you come see, you know. You know, but you come out in you know, the farm of Rasta, that, that warrior farm, that fire there, that fire there, reveal itself. As I and I, you know, burning, they just bust out of you. Can't keep it no longer, you come say, Rasta, free man, this, you know. Yeah, they say the lion, give thanks, and blessed love, you know. I don't quarrel with the lion. If I might sound like I quarrel, I don't quarrel. In for, like I answered earlier, His Majesty know about the priest, His Majesty know about the warrior, His Majesty know about the traitor. So, I and I as the war we go and fight the gorilla for our fear, see? Yeah, cause I don't declare I say, say I am one of the warrior rasta, so I will fight the war fear. The eye sound like a priest, so yeah, bless up the eye self and go on with the priesthood. You know, say I and I is one rasta, give thanks. It's not I say it in a rasta. Is his majesty say it in a Is his majesty say it in a Priests, warriors, and traitors. I know if you are a lion. His Majesty said that now King's House and him the other Jamaica 1966. I know if you are a lion. I don't take it personally. It's not I words, I also repeat his magic words from His Majesty mouth. Give thanks. Bless up again, my elder. Yeah, this I sound like the I talk personally. A reason personal of the I self lion. But I know a reason personally of an I self, you know. Because a man don't say, I know Rastafari is a liberation movement, you know. So therefore, I think about the black people whose mind in captivity all over the world, the Bible and Quran, religion, give them the mindset the lion. How are you not going to free them? But this a man, they're not lion. I know even I discuss Bible personally amongst Rasta, you know. But I see a whole heap of African people will get led astray by them book, your lion. 
You see? And still enslaved by them book here. Yeah. yeah, I read it from an African, black African perspective, yes. But what are those who still, the majority who still are read it from the African perspective? You see? And them, I and I have to liberate in a Congo. And they say, they know, oh, we have a liberate car. Rasta alone can't set Africa free, you know. Okay, I want to come tell her, you know, you know, no illusion, you know, you know. The redemption of Africa is all black man and black woman responsibility for creation, you know, so. I can't rasta alone. But you see, forget this one, for no, say, the, the duty is to liberate Africa. A rasta have that responsibility to set their mind free, that's they can't take up that responsibility. Because as long as they read the Bible and go to church, rasta, them not going to see that duty there. So this is uh, a perspective there I reason from in the lion. Oh, we are going to set black people mind free make them know, say. And them are free Africa. Rastafari. Congo. It's like the, I never hear what I man say. You never hear what I man say. I man say and I need an army to deal with it. Rastafari army yet. Wise up, man. I and I as Rasta, we need an army. That's why we don't want no Christian around here, sir. We need a warrior to take up gun. We want an army with stronger than what Indian, Chinese, and European have. And that's so it there. And then the time I and I have an army, we kick them out of Africa, we kick them out of Jamaica, we kick them over ev everywhere when they belong to them, we kick them out. And that's so it, the Congo. So yeah, if you listen good to I man, I say, I man, don't say we need an army, we're stronger than them. That's why I man tells say, I am one of the warrior army, one of the warrior Rasta, but we lead the battle, we they are the head of the battlefield for trample wicked, and this is the Congo. So don't come get a wrong and a right and a come like child. Don't like child about Rasta. A Rasta, I don't know, like the hydrants, I don't know, Christopherian business, I don't know, Salvation Army, something this year. This year, real. Yes. That is one of the points that I am trying to make to the world. Yes, fear I'm a Caesar here say a whole heap of iron I stand upon the army. The army philosophy. We are not a church. Hear the burden say. And we I and I want for no one in the world for no say no one not for come lecture we are Jamaica. As to what Rasta fi do and where Rasta no fi do and where we fi be and where we no fi be. We know why we did build this movement. So right now is he that you come stand up with I and I. And go be a Christian by yourself man. Go up under the orthodox. Make them come show to the down. Yeah. So we're moving along straight with soldier car oh, and these the younger generation because I over 200 podcasts me, I tell my story you know so it's only right bear with me to make some other generation of vanguard come really tell them story upon this platform because this is what the platform is here to gather the vanguards so we can ready up ourselves now and know say whatever you think that is extreme is not you alone cause me have bridging right now what me can even call you know cause them them cooler than me you know me have a bridging name Chip Head yeah that head him name Chip Head yeah him was guard man personally bodyguard and I Chip Head him name so you know if you know cause me tell you already say I want rest and okay who I call themselves Bobo 12 tribe and what the vanguards them was one soldier that bind all the houses them together because in the dark days all of the houses have security and vanguard and we were one the vanguard have to be one because we could not war if they are war with each other there will be no Bobo if if Bingy did a war in a in a the dark days, if Bingy did a war with twelve tribe and Coptic and all these things, there will be no rasta today. There will be no rasta today if we'd a war with each other. So the in the security realms of the thing, that is where go on go on now and appear verbal war. But we'll soon touch upon that. Humbleness and humility. 
Make the Jamaican government take over all of the mansion them in a Jamaica. If you come in a Jamaica now, you see Rasta. I am a Rasta. You see government representative. Sit down for Rasta for our board and say they represent Rasta. Who put them there? The Minister of Culture. You see? Up to now, no Rasta mansion in a Jamaica don't choose one representative yet. I myself represent I and I. All and I representative is chosen by the Jamaican government because of our humbleness and humility amongst Rasta. You see? And humbleness and humility make Rasta get trampled everywhere I and I tried and just sung the one can and a big mercy from Eli Selassie I. Ha. You know, to so come and take her out of this hole ya. <laughs> yeah, I can see Babylon cast a in You know, see, but I now go sing with Pan Eli Selassie for take her out. And most Jamaican Rasta now go sing with Eli Selassie. Eli Selassie is the king of kings, the lord of lords, the almighty. So okay. the, so the stop it right there, so the car. Me come and I tell them these things and them burn me out, you know. Me tell them, say, I and I are jam rock and a different kind of Rasta. We now wait for Eli Selassie to come do nothing for you and I. I and I get up and do things. This is how Rasta did becomes what it becomes. We never did know that talk about Eli Selassie and go do things for we. No. I pick up my gun and go make things happen. Yeah, and when you hear that now, now go on now like, ah. Oh, you can go on with your Bible and go on, wait and go on, think say Isla Selassie go and come put food on your table. You can go on and make when school time for your youth go to school, you pray to Isla Selassie and think say I'm going to make things manifest. Make your picnic go a good school. Don't go in, rule your picnic in a good school and make sure them get good education and good teaching. Keep a talk about your weight because South African Rasta Because there's some there Them Is 50 million in the minority Them is 4 million As Rasta And as opposed to make Changes for themselves All them are tell me Jaja in the Bible And Jaja said And I and I Jaja said this And Jaja said that And I listen as I said that And I li listen man Tell them some more, my brother. Tim come here and tried creation of flesh like I and I. And I'm sure I and I the way. Saying, and now I and I they have to say I and I are Rasta. I and I need to implement the things we himself to do and free I and I self Rasta. Not by reading Bible. That now I'm going to take I out of captivity. But become statesmen and statesmen to represent I and I self. I and I own cars, as His Majesty say, Lion. You know, see? And how long I and I go beg to Babylon, beg and preach to European and all type of different capture. How long we have to talk and talk and talk and beg and beg and beg. Expect say them have to have mercy upon I. There is no mercy coming from these one fire. One law and one rule European overstand, you see? And I don't want to arrest her. We have to do like say, I don't know what them overstand or what them afraid. I know white people afraid, I know. A power, the only thing white people afraid of is power. Power, either military power or economical power. That's why them keep Africa. You know the way them keep Africa because if Africa know its own power and start to use allies to own um, resources for itself, Africa will get powerful and all white people have to go scatter, flat and bat and go away. You know, see? And that cause the problem. You see, that's why all religion head for Africa. All religion led for Africa. Because they know say religion is the only thing. We can't keep Africans apart. Just like how they use it to keep Rastafarian and Jamaica apart. Because all of the mansion they fight against them one another. You know? All of the mansion they fight against them one another. And I don't tell the ordinary Rasta. You know? If you go South Splash, if you go Rebel Salute, any show you go Rastafari show. A one Rasta, you see. One Rasta. You can't tell Bobo different from Trip Shire, different from Naya Bing, different from EWF, Church of Vision, School of Vision, and on a one Rasta. But any time the head of the, the head of the mansion them sit together now, for re come together, for reason and set out plans and things, the I and I go forward. 
that is when the confusion start and the fighting start and then Babylon say Rasta confuse and Rasta no unite. You know see? And I they say it earlier because all of these ones are Bible reader them. And then carry them Bible mind go amongst I and I and I and I reason at all time and fight against them one another because the bubble man want it wants to say him alone I go as Zion. Twelve tribes say him alone. Naya Bingi say him alone. And at that fire cause the division monks I and I. But when I man go other places at one Rasta I see is only the monks, the mansion them, the head of them is just the head of the mansion them fire. Cause his division. You know, see, they say it there. Oh lion, I'm on now with Pano Illusion Army. How much time I must tell us? I will tell you, say, again and again, say, I and I was a black, liber black liberation need to create our own army. I and I are talking about what's a black liberation, and every rascal like it itself has a black liberation no Congo. You I want to live in a paradise, go queen Japan and live comfortable in a paradise, you know. And if black people are in misery, you know. I know you know that, you know. I want to see every black man free, black woman and people in the creation of free Congo. And I know say, no religion now nah, go do that. Simon so, I say, I and I who are the black who are the black liberators. I go create I and I and I own army. I need to create I and I own army. I love the army that I talk about, you know. So no more come look make it look like say you know I a chat say no I know no, illusion like for the eye in illusion in illusion no. The I say the eye paradise is within the eye. You have your paradise already, Congo. I and I pan the rock, yes, no, no paradise, a misery, a hell, I and I in a so. So I and I pan a different man, damn level, a different mindset from the eye, Congo. Yes, that was Rasoji, second generation Rasta. I'm on the world for digest what Rasoji said. Yeah. One black nation. Him no there no paradise. So who the Africa already there at the paradise? The car would not have to know. Say a so rasta they say Africa. Yeah. That we want to leave out of Babylon and return to our paradise. So I this or it there. But a brethren, normally me not do this, you know, but a brethren send me a thing for read out. And me I go read out the thing. A brethren say something I go on. Write ya so. Bible versus bone Bible. Warrior versus priest. Jamaica versus South Africa. Movement versus steel man. Man versus woman, religion versus spirituality. Now being a hardy, harder versus Rastafari, edification versus ignorance, repartition versus Nago Africa, whole versus young, a women left out, chop, etc. The only difference is this is a what's up war. If ones were meeting face to face in a real life, bodies would have be pitching long time. Remember, Ethiopia has been captured and conquered and is being prepared to be split up into different countries like Sudan. Yes. So, penny, penny that also. No. So now I want to hear it from a first generation. I want to hear it look a while for 40 odd minutes from a second generation. Well, here is the third generation now. Because I mean, I'm a name, you know. I'm telling you, I'm the ambassador. So when me come in, I come with no scholars from up at you. No, me a me, me not a friend up at you double you know. So when me come, a real rasta man, I come telling you now, car. This is what this platform is about. You know, I go here no scholars come from my platform, come scholaristic on a dung. A dung to hurt. We are keep our thing. 
Cause in a dirt with it. Now, I'm going to know now and hear from my brethren Rastani, who is a third generation Rastapitni, where theme thing now, you have to know third generation, I want younger, younger, younger you to I know. The, and just say, out of the be the mouth of what was what was hidden from the wise and prudent is now revealed to the beer and suckling. So high badass is here representing first generation. I'm mean, I tell you I them say that this trad is a generational trad. So only here's Rasuji just now get to you know, from second generation perspective. So now Rastani I go come now and go you now the overdub third generation style. Now I'm going to try my best now for me to digest Rastani fully. I'm going to try to interrupt this you know, car that you tell a kick it. You know. And when, when Jabi say it a kick, it a kick, it hop. Yeah, it can't get no hop and clearer. This is no Sizzler, this is no Antony B, this is no Loot and Fire, this is no The Messenger, this is no The, uh, the Fireman, this is a real Rasta man. So Tani, come in, come put it down now, Pam Babylon. God, His Majesty, give the land, was giving the land to poor people, and was few that. Come again. Hail his imperial majesty, King Rastafari, and the rising of the sun and the going up thereof. Yeah, and the falling of the moon, and the new moon, and the, 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 the quarter, and the half moon, you know. We, we give him praises. We give Come praises. at school world. No, school time, classroom life. time. Yeah, I give thanks again to the Harley brethren them in the house who reason together in love, as the good words say. Come and let us reason, you know. Uh, even if your heart tough like a lion, as the far I reasoning will smoothen your heart, you know, and if them Spitting fire like dragon. Rastafari reasoning will quench their fire. Again, we are saying, brother and sister in Ethiopia, keep the faith and world balance, you know, and Rastafari, they might left the West and go down there, you know, you know, link together, stay together, and organize yourself in this time for. The thing like one of Ethiopia really serious seeing that at the, the same church is who help to say them overthrow his majesty and fight against his majesty. Them are the races because his majesty give the land, was giving the land to poor people and was few that large. They were the one who owned all the land, the property, and treat the Ethiopian people like slaves. So after his majesty, free slavery down there, abolished slavery. The church turned against him. Yeah, church turned against him. That's why you find out so much of the priests them get executed down there. His majesty followers for their plan. From that time till this time is to teach all Rasta a lesson. We as 
the third generation, we give thanks to the first generation of Rastafari who seek the high face. And we give thanks to all the black people them um, where hold up them early and embrace their African identity. I and I, elders, first generation, fight for that. I also have to give thanks to Jaboni for he represent the last remaining of the first generation according to what we see right now for if you have anyone remaining from the first generation who knew of this child we'd uh, also hear them come out and defend certain things we look we see the second generation them is who cause all the problem where Rasta face today and I continue to say that the high school students them who come in the now being the house 1975 and to say that you know for those who never know we're talking about the history of the Naya Bingi Ada and why it is like one minute today. one minute they were starting because I have to interject you now so you see Rastani put it say the thing pop down start pop down from 1975 where you for note is half is 19 76 Jaboni tried out upon the mission. So it's like when them say once we take all self and go upon the mission, the little boys them now just run in and start this mass violation kind of one never did if it lick them upon their mouth and kick with them foot. Yeah. So you find since like in born nineteen seventy six when me leave him go born and him just grew up in it and just decide say him can come freestyle. Then you have such man born nineteen seventy eight and you have all these juvenile that come up in the thing and just take it thing and freestyle it thing. The whole of them. Give themselves name and title. And nobody never did feel like. Take off some stripe off of them. And do the most important thing. Because them little boy never get a lick on them mouth. You know? No, they never get a lick on them mouth. So them, them is undisciplined. Them little boy had them start the train for grow up. And start run them house and run them parents. So, come in and go and shed the light for I and I, you know, because I learn me, I learn to, you know, because I never know where I go on after me leave, you know, because after me leave, my focus is Africa. So, I never look forward. I never look forward till 20 a year after me look forward. Yeah, we are, when you go out any bingy, you see, one man wants to lead the chant because that's why we burn church. We don't like nothing named church and Christian. These university <sighs> students and high school students who come amongst the Naya Bingi elder first generation. The Naya Bingi elders used to relay the chant whenever Naya Bingi are keep. For the chant of the Naya Bingi is an expression of our tribulation and what we face in the struggle against Babylon. And it is not for one man to get up every day and tell we about for him tribulation and we do not have any right to talk about our tribulation and that are going in and I have been gathered today. 
them no want the youth them chant and chant from bridging I see a bridging left from Guyana and come to the Naya being a couple of days of a year and one night the, the chanting a go up and it, you know a, a gap left within the chant and the brethren come out of my rich and him rise a chant and I and I look and see the whole of the man they call themselves priests and in charge stop the brethren and I still don't observe one man I play the drum he might lead the chant and when he get up he's ready for prayer are the young are the high school students then bring these wickedness and disunity and segregation round I and I first generation a Rasta far I know Rasta. When I and I look at youth, the Naya being the first generation used to play with the chant like a ball, like a ball, like how you play a ball game, you box it get one day, you box it get And that's how the chant used to roll and the chant man used to jump and touch the ceiling. Yeah, sometimes the chant, you know, that is that you as an individual in you know, the congregation of Rasta, you only get the chance to say one word, just one word. The chant is a long chant, enough word, but you and your right is only one word you're supposed to say because you don't have the voice to bring on two words. And if you say two words, you spoil the chant. None of these Rasta, that's why I say, I, I have to listen to Jaboni. Jaboni keep telling the one, he said, the overseas Rasta, them are the problem in our movement right now. Because them come and I tell you where Bongo Wato did say, and this man did say, and that man did say. Right? And them I try to follow these men. Well, me I tell you only one thing when you follow. Bongo what are the trim off all I'm putting them locks and his wife locks and tell them say I'm alone for the Rasta in my house. Just take that little page there and I want to follow that too. We have a lot of more things that we can do if we follow. But we just are going one at a time. So since you don't want to follow what to you know, go and go trim off on the woman locks and on the picking locks and tell put them to sit down and tell them say is you alone to be Rasta in your house. Now, back to the second generation. The second generation of Rasta eyed up the history of the movement from the third generation of Rasta. That's why I agree with Jaboni when he come and say, we don't know nothing. The third generation don't know nothing all we know for do is quote Bible and 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 post slogan of Marcus Garvey and quote Marcus Garvey speech and these things and 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 history of five and six thousand years and seventeen thousand years ago. For that is where we we have to try to learn growing up because the second generation of Rasta. Sit down amongst the elder, write down every word where they have to say and take all the pictures and the video and all type of thing with them and hide up everything from the third generation of Rasta. That's why the Rasta, the Bingy movement, mash up at Jamaica for the youth, them don't know nothing. Right now, a youth man, they even know if you ask enough Rasta youth, the guidance Psalms, they don't know. If you ask enough Rasta youth, how to start the Naya Bingy gathering, they don't know. If you ask enough Rasta man and youth of the seal up the Naya Bingi I gathering, then don't know. If you ask them the, the, the celebration dates of the celebration and certain things, then don't know. Over the years, Rasta been sitting and writing, the second generation of Rasta been writing um, minutes after minutes after minutes and it tracked along to the third generation. And we come, that's why we have to take what we self because we realize say, when the man them come and write down with the elder them say, you don't see it or hear about it again. So then put themselves in a the in a our way, which is the, the third generation. And take with all with the elder them go through them life story and the things where we supposed to know to make we 
stronger today in Rastafari. Them take all of that and hide it. And then come back now, you know. And I do like people must serve them as God. Them are this God. Them take the L of them chant, them sell them, them have them sell like reggae music. And them are do. Them are them are them are link with white people, take white people, sell out Rasta artifacts and sell in the ancient them. Them even have the ancient them funerals. You need to go up on YouTube, you never see one of the now you have water funeral, you know, see time funeral, you know, see none of them funeral on video, but Rasta man have it a sell overseas. The second generation of Rasta have these things a sell overseas and uh, hide with things them from the youth them. So we don't have no experience of what's going on because the second generation of Rasta hide up all the knowledge from the youth them. And it's a very sad story. We get up today where Uncle can speak of some of the things that we hear the ancient them and say. If we forget in some of the stories them where the ancient them say and do, a lot of people will have vex for the second generation also hide these things from the world. So we give thanks to the bloodline of the first generation who are still here today with us and letting us know identify the things and where we should have already learned from the second generation that's why I grieve the lion so much because certain things him shouldn't have to come and tell I and I as youth I and I should have already know that hear that this is the same second generation who rise up against his majesty in 1975 the second generation, them is who rise up and and demand change from, from from the kingdom of Africa to a democratic system of Babylon. You know, while I and I the third generation now come to tear down Babylon and step on Babylon and telling Babylon we don't come to bow. No way. So we got to have this overstanding and our history is important for learning that's why we are here to impart knowledge for we are in a, 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 a institution of we like call it the ancient school of Jerusalem or Jerusalem school room the, 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 the school of Anu was even more um, advanced than Jerusalem school room. For in the school of Anu was the differentiation between good and evil where it, um, a man would display his intent by his way he lived. So in the school of a new you would have you would have um, priesthood, two set of priesthood in the school of a new. You don't have any in between in the school of a new where you have the priests who fight to shed the light and the priests who fight to put the people in darkness. You did have those two um, people within the school of a new and the the, 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 the the priest of darkness wasn't someone who had a scheme around when everybody they don't know say yeah well, they, this that is one of the priests of darkness and everybody they know say yes that is one of the priests of light so it's not like today where people see the priest of darkness and embrace him and you see the priest of light and you, re you remain silent and you do like you know, it wasn't like these things this is a time now where hypocrisy become advanced amongst men through the the, 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 the the colonization of Babylon so we got to know our ancient history and where we're coming from you know so most of the things that we are like we say as youth we dare not to say 
far where you know little or nothing about it. You know, and from our viewpoint and standpoint, we was always have some things in our mind where did I go on with the elder them, but you know, some man used to be bigger you them used to cry out, squeal out. You know what I and I just have to used to have to observe. You know, and most of them delegation that we got foreign, as me always I tell the people them, some of them wasn't official and the one them were official the 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 the, 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 the priest them have to suppress certain attitude and behavior to fit the occasion. But I and I know there are no one where I and I are sovereign, independent, freedom man in this time. Oh, we don't alter our word to please no guy. Car, one thing we please and want to see is our freedom. So we we know why we know you're not a company and a friend with no man and, and, and these things is truth and right is I and I friend. And those of you who have truth and right is become I and I brethren automatically. Not because I see the ones say yeah you rasta you. It become automatically because that's how nature take its course in all things, you know. So we give thanks again and we need to be reasoning on things that affect in us, as I man always say. You know, the second generation arrasta, disrupt, dismonger, sell out the movement to Babylon. And uh, either way, all the truth from the youth, them. Then did I do it, you know? And I and I did I experience it. Because when we we look how them and they did, when we are grow up as youth, you have a set a group of Rasta man where everybody the elder them there, them run underneath them skin and them stand up, then jump in front of the elder them. You have one particular one, don't you don't want to call him name, but if you know, watch certain video where. Eh? Go a guy and on certain place down the Caribbean and certain place America. Whenever this young man go to the elder them, it, it, him is who run and speak first. Him is who try to be the master of ceremony around the elder them. So in most instant, him presumptuously jump and represent the elder them and them and what they're doing. So these are some of the things that were misled Rasta from overseas. For these high school students wasn't working out by the authority of the elders like how oh, the church generation working. They were working based on their educational quality who qualify so then bring this uh, this stigma a lot of things the second generation Rasta do to Rasta you know for them Pitney were born in a Rasta house you know then put them different from the rest of children amongst black people you know yes the Pitney were, 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 were born since they have been a richer country these country people start to set for them children born in the house and who no born in the house do have the right like where the youth were born in the house have you know these there are some some things where them stand up and say around near being the altar where up till today i and i cannot um figure it out the second generation of rasta rasta man used to have them that the first generation of rasta man um children them they with Rasta man and have Rasta baby today. The second generation of Rasta man preach openly. Them don't want the third generation of Rasta talk to them that and say anything to them. In a Rasta, the being your sky, the being is a family, you know. Most of the, 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 these second generation of Rasta man, youth data, went out and them get a ballad man to carry in. And enough of the, 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 the youth man them now where uh, 
grew up with these youth that are now go out there and get a ball of the man or some of them just the ball of the man just draw with some of them but more, they never bring the youth that them some of them will recute the ball of the man and bring him in and you know and it still cause confusion because when they bring the ball of the man now they try to give the ball of the man now more authority than you the vanguard who did a long time these are some of the things that the third generation the second generation do yeah them fight them them dictate say is one person to lead rasta man chan song if the rhythm chan song and them the woman them the second generation of rasta woman too them no want them that to talk to no rasta youth you know them want the rasta youth them if them second generation of rasta woman if them can get you as a young man them no want the daughter to speak to them. We have them daughter to see. Most of the second generation of Rasta man sell them daughter to white man and, and foreign people. The, the, the first generation of Rasta man never do these things. Yeah. So this is what have the youth them today in in distant segregation and all these things because the second generation of Rasta I try to create Rasta out of Rasta I create something out of Rasta which the foundation Elitism that's what it's called Elitism now the second generation of Rasta now then become fully Christianized and pastors and priests within them and then who oh, they are walk behind the elder because people see them with the elder now people confident in them now so people start follow them and them not stop this so them say all right because they fight against this third generation of rasta you know so the, all of these people will know them all over the world them tell the people them for eight we yeah them know nothing them is rubbish and these things so you find out so now when you travel now and you go around people who know them second second generation of Rasta the, the people them start even if the people them they know you even if the people them know you and never know you connect to them and then the, the people them know you now then them call a Jamaica and say oh God you know Bongo right oh, you, you thing and thing them tell the people them now they say Bungara get rid of him from around there no good in the this in that the Naya Bingi the first generation of Rasta never do nothing like that the first generation of Rasta never do nothing like that and the reason why save these second generation of Rasta the when we tell you what save them is the love where we learn from the first generation of Rasta and that saved them as we have we that get violent. But the first generation of Rasta teach me that we must take a non violent approach to a brethren and a sister. And a non abusive approach. We're not supposed to abuse one another. We're not supposed to deal with violent and we're not supposed to plan for go join politicians. We're supposed to plan for demand from politician the second generation of rasta go and vote for politician the second generation of rasta go up on politician podium and go talk with politician japan company for this platform where we see a certain rasta down at westmoreland japan a politician podium attack and be half of the politician. The first generation of Rasta would never do nothing like that. The first generation of Rasta would have tried to make every politician in all live good. We'd have call them and make them shake and, and you know tell them to live good and do the people business right. So this is one of the problems we are going. And when we speak of what we experience as youth growing up now. You have some people from foreign and uh, over all different parts of the world now 
I tell we see and so it go because the elders where them see tell them something else. Which we we we, we see and thing where Jabonia say. And we keep telling the man them all the time. Say where we know different from where we know. We have a different experience, we see a different side of the man where we do not see. So don't come and do like we is Satan and the man them is, is God and and then them so perfect that them would do and say what we are saying. We sit down and hear the man them talk. That's why we, we, we can say, yeah, Jabonia say right, because the man them is who talk, they teach you for bond plantation and these things, these teachings, these things, and we run out the white man for anywhere we go. And we, all of them tell when them go in Africa, all white man have to move out. And when we start talk, oh, the elder them used to talk on the ground. You have some people vex. You will never hear these things. Like, you never hear. So we have to continue to say what we know, what we, we the elder them tell we. So if they never tell one of them things, it's because it wasn't for one to learn or for hear. But we hear what we for hear and know what we for know. So that is the, the, the big difference I go on. And the second generation of Rasta, we are telling them to ease up now. Ease up after of the youth, then the third generation of Rasta, and make the youth them get to establish truth and right in earth, in justice. For that is what the world needs right today. Everybody needs justice. Everybody needs love. You know, everybody needs to live in good. You know, not like how the second generation of Rasta live right now, most of them at Jamaica have two floor house. The second generation of Rasta, most of them will fight against the youth, them and come and with all the bad mind and segregation amongst Rasta and Christianized Rasta. Check them portfolio today, check them profile and them background. In Jamaica and other else place, they have two floor house and deep wheel jeep. And if you know man shark, when you walk on the road, then drive and splash you up when rain fall. These are the prophecy by Ebert and all these Dunkley and all these men were written in the six pants book. Uh, a lot of Rasta don't read the six pants book. Yeah, and we tell you about what go happen, what the second generation are going to do to Rasta. Yeah, because the first generation of Rasta, they prophesy about the second generation of Rasta, where they are going to do. And in the last years, you know, and one of the things we prophesy about them, second generation, said them are going to turn Rasta in a splintered group. Yeah, he burnt and dunkly. Said them, second generation of Rasta, they, them when turn the Rasta movement in a splintered group divide up Rasta that's where them them, them do the second generation of Rasta them prophesy say them go and get rich them go and have two floor outs them go and have deep wheel big wheel van and then go and drive and splash you up on the road and the reason why the, the first generation of Rasta did have to prophesy these things because Rastafari used to share one banana for 13 men and one orange for 13 brethren and everyone used to eat and live in love and iry a man have one bicycle and three men up on the bicycle one man up on the bar and one man stand up on the back and the bicycle that carried them down the hill to town or west river a Rasta, in those days, never used to pass a Rasta man because every Rasta man did have the same story. Sometimes you know, see a brethren for months and when you, you, you think him dead or Babylon kill him and then you go up one place far, one nail at 20 miles, 100 miles and you go buck your brethren. And him have a story. Or oh, him have to escape Babylon and him have to sleep in a gutter water and him have to come in the whole village chase him and and fling a rock and bust him head and some stories today Rasta not living that way Rasta man see you and he step past you up on the road he had him know nothing 
the guy, you and him now fight with the same struggle again. So the second generation make Rasta now become a year style, a style where it's just a not another year style out of the hundred and the thousands of year style. Which Rasta is a movement for a repatriation and the reunification of the African family to return and reunite home. The second generation of Rasta sit on a Jamaica depend on foreigners to mind them. Foreign people in England and America and other places in, in the world get misled and, 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 and scammed by the second generation of Rasta for years. Sending barrel and sending package of money to get these men thinking and hoping that it can serve the right purpose. Only later on, many years after, we look on YouTube and see people I call these men thief and these men misled and embezzled Rastafari funding. The first generation of Rasta been saving from 1958. Police were the, 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 the money box 1975. Since 1975, and the regroup of the brethren, them split in a left wing and right wing. Rasta start to save from 1982 from the big conference come up right up to 2000. When the elder them drop flesh and iron the youths, the third generation ask for account of the bank book and certain things where the elder them have. A Rasta man went to Mapen and come back and carry the Naya Bingi ancient bank book come and to our surprise it was only sixty dollar, sixty Jamaican dollar in the Ella Bank book from nineteen eighty two to two thousand and some. You know? So the second generation then this try this try what the first generation them had set out for the youth them. You know what that cost if you do know? As where the elder would have said. It put you back in a slavery. Yeah. I man shouldn't have to work on a plantation. They, they want to work with my father do and grandfather do in Rasta. And they want to work with me because my elder them do for Rasta. I and I, as the bloodline, the, from the dreaded order, the son of the dreaded order, the Nayabingi should never work in on a plantation today. But we have to work on a plantation for the second generation disrupt this, and dismantle. When I'm coming at this land here and the second generation of Rasta done, cut I and I threw it back way. The Rasta them over here look and tell I I got suffer real bad. Yeah, because People don't survive on this land, so unless you have assistant. Yeah, that's what I tell him. I even, you don't want to deal with my immigration paper, you don't have a dollar, but then they charge I some 700 US. And I forward to the bingy. Man, them, and they, you know, the man, after we done chant and be reason, you know, and, you know, I show the one him say I have a situation where you know immigration wants a little piece of change for you. So I taught me thing and my peer pan thing. You know I rushed the Rosalini elbow upon the halt and he bow him head and him start grinning teeth. Yeah and now I never really endorse and support it, you know. That's you know. I said what the hell? I, I think so now I I I they I hear these men say them treat the elder them good when they go overseas I think so why is that treatment where I and I should I get a you know acknowledgement or you know assistance from Rasta. None of that because the second generation of Rasta disrupt that. One of the things with them bringing amongst Rasta people, the second generation of Rasta, is whispering. When you go at an air being together and you see two Arastaman going on next Rastaman is and whisper and then you see something um, 
and something started to happen and he count that reason. Rasta never used to whisper. Rasta man used to speak that you can't stay at the end of the, the, the property or the end of the building and here. Watch whatever we have to speak. We never used to whisper. Because in the proverbs of our ancient and African proverb, a whisper does break up friendship. So any time you go to a congregation and you see somebody, people start to whisper, that congregation they eventually go and mash up. Because we're not supposed to have no secret where we are keep from one another. If you have a secret, the secret must be the, between you and your queen. You know, suppose you have secret against everybody in the, in the, in the, in the congregation. You know, in the work that is like, not life. That is not what the aliens and them teach you and I. So all these disruption, as we say, Today, when you go to an Airbnb, people tend to carry on the chant like a Christian. <laughs> yeah, one man want to lead the chant. The chant must relay. The youngest child in there can lead the chant. A child shall lead the way. Yeah. So, everyone have a vice. And I rest my case, give thanks again. Blessed day. I. Love the reason I don't get to listen and read with everything. For I'm busy, really busy this strong coming on. But as time goes up and I'm on full take, I'm on with deliver in due season. One perfect love. Greetings and love. Hey, Rastafari, give thanks. One love, you know. Ancient pounds. Rastafari all over the globe. Give thanks again. Fireman, I once see the eye make a post to I, you see, and I man ask the eye what the meaning of that post, yeah. You can't answer I man question by asking another question and you still not answer I question. Because you figure say the eye vex and angry over some things, so I ask the eye what, what I man say, what I man post to get the eye angry, you know. Oh, because I man say I know the whole Bible. I read it, you know, what I'm about to just try, I want to know one night. And if I see the good things in it, I, I obey the good things in it. But I have to search for the good way in it. I now go hug up Bible like say it's completely good. Everything in it good, 100% good. Not no go so. So if you want to stay under illusion, stay under illusion. Don't get I man included in your illusion and don't angry because I man no follow the eye the idea of illusion. Jamaica have the most Christian, most church per square by me, I tell the eye that, you know. And Jamaica, no have no history with no Bible slave, free no slave around us, so. No Bible no free no slave around us, so. no Bible story no free no slave around us, so. A fight, African people fight. And give them life. Come out of white people bandage from your so, around your so, you see? A gun, some sharp and it preacher used to go up with Bible and tell go to church. And he finds that that can't work and he dash the Bible a long time and take up gun, take up machete, stone, fire stick, anything they can hold. And tell the people, say, come back, we go fight. And at that them do. They go fight and free slave. Paul Bogle again used to go to church with him Bible, I walk up and down with Bible and I preach white man doctrine. And when him finds say nothing can't come out of that him do again, he take up gun and he take up anything we can kill white people. You see? And that them do us all around us so come for free, you know, Jamaica, you know. Here to and them place, you know, Bible slave them, you know. All them slaves now in the in that place so they can't carry the And you no know, Bible story free, you no know, slave around us, you know. And if Africa and Africa go sit down and wait, say Bible, I go free, you know, no make a sad mistake. Go on, hold on for the Bible. I'm telling you know, why I hold on for you know. Because I'm no slave. And I don't recognize no slave, nor no slave master. And you know, that day we don't know. And I'm going to sit down and oppress a cup of oppress I. And I can't I like I go sit down and pray and quote no Bible story. I know them the thing that we don't know. So if you want to vex you, I'm going to say what you say. Go on, vex. Kill yourself over it. And get angry over it. You see? But I, I know so humble. 
when it comes to oppression. I don't go take no oppression and the humblest and say, I like to say, I prove it. I righteous. Righteous is enough. It's not take sufferation. When you can free yourself out of it. No, no, go so. I want to get through the type of righteousness from. Steer also with it. Yeah, man. Rastafari. Give thanks, priest, study, you know. A man love the high words, Rasta. He said, give thanks to the high utterance, Rasta. You know. One love, my brother. Give thanks again. I'm a tell Yes. Now, on hear which part it there with my brethren them. On a year from a second and a third generation, Ras. On a being here from I, who is a first generation Rasta baby. So, I want the I them penetrate what on a year now from the second and third and then put on the comments in the comment section and see how we can build and move forward so until such time again hope and pray that this one come out better than the one before because this one should have less distortion I read my brethren and sisters.